calling me Coco, 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 Hardy. Don't know why they got me started, yeah. Stop my niggas be about it. Fuck with us from the start. I can design, I never go back. 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 What's up YouTube, it's Taft Man back with another sneaker unboxing and sneaker review. Today I bring you the Jordan 11 Low, Snakeskin. What a beauty. A little history on the sneaker. In 2001, they released alongside the pink snakeskins. I wasn't able to obtain a pair in 2001, but 18 years later, it's part of my collection. It's also the first time that the Jordan brand has released an 11 without a patent leather finish going around the entire sneaker with a snakeskin. I am not really a fan of Jordan Low 11s. I do own the green snakeskin, the red and white, and the Carolina blue. But this is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Additional detail on the Jordan 11 Low snakeskins. They released April 19, 2019. It has a white leather upper finish with white chunky laces. The chunky laces are signature on all the Jordan 11. On the middle of the tongue, you have Jumpman Jordan with a Jumpman logo in the middle. On the inside, you have a navy blue finish with a white Jumpman. You also have the snakeskin finish. This material really feels like a snake. They outdid themselves with the texture of it. In the midsole, it's white all the way around. And at the bottom, you have a translucent finish with the Jumpman logo in the middle and a carbon fiber finish also at the bottom. Now to the comparison on the 2001 to 2019 Snakeskin 11 lows. I don't have the blue Snakeskin OG from 2001. So I'm going to compare it to the pink. With the snakeskin material in the front, on the pink 2001, it's actually fully leather compared to the 2019 release where it's leather with suede going through it to give it that real snakeskin feel. Also, the cut on the sneaker is definitely different in regard to the snakeskin material. This side is a little bit lower compared to the blue one, how it's a little bit higher. They both carry the same chunky, thick laces. Also, that the bottom on the 2019 blue snakeskin compared to the pink 2001 snakeskin, this come with an icy blue, and this had came with a white clear sole. If I had to choose between the two, the 2001 and 2019 release, as my favorite, I'm going to go to the 2019 pair just because the Jordan brand did an exceptional job in manufacturing these sneakers. The fact that I have a real snakeskin feel on my shoe is really dope. The only thing that sucks is the fact that you can't wear them in all type of weather due to the fact that the suede material is in the leather. So if it does get wet, it may ruin the quality of the shoe. But all together, the 2019 pair is my favorite. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for future unboxing. The drip is courtesy of Gas NYC. I'll leave the link below. Until next time, peace.